Good morning, gamers. Welcome to the Smokehouse. That's all. That's all I had for that bit. I, I don't know where that was, where that was going, but it felt good. I felt, I felt, uh, I felt powerful when I was doing it. Um, welcome everyone. Welcome. Um, this is the final gamer stream. Uh, hosting this week is your host, the final gamer. Um, and what what is being smoked? I guess in this in, in this metaphorical world, like lot lot of lot of meats, lot lot of lot of sausages and and beef and and what and, and whatnot. Uh, your Simpsons video is causing uproar on Twitter. <laughs> Yes, yes, I, I might have caught a little bit of that. Um, not sure quite that amount was necessary, but, uh, you know. Hey, look, if you ain't making people mad, you ain't trying hard enough. That's what I always say. Um, thanks to everyone who watched the Simpsons video. I know a lot of you know me here as the final gamer. But I do, in fact, have a little side project I don't talk about very much called uh, Super Eyepatch Wolf. Um, it's just, it's just a little thing I do on the side. Um, obviously nowhere near as important as what happens in these streams. Um, mm -mm -mm. it was a banger video though. I don't think, I don't think the issue was with my video because I think that tweet went out like the hour the video was posted. I think it was just people like, you know, it was the same thing where it's like, I patch wolf talk slow and I do talk kind of slow. So like, it's not unwarranted. It didn't seem like a super malicious thing like i saw the humor in it like i get it so it's it, it's fine um but yeah it's um it's always a weird week after posting right because it's like in the in the days coming up to that video it's like you're working like 15 16 hour days constantly and so like you get really like deliriously tired and like i'm looking at the video and there's a point where i'm like what the fuck am i even doing here you know what i mean and then it's really strange to watch it go out and watch people react to it and i'd say like for like the reaction on my end was like overwhelmingly positive, which was so fucking cool to see. And just, you know, thanks to everyone who's watching it. But it's it's a weird thing even with that, because it's like, there's this MMA fighter. Maybe I've told this story before. It's this MMA fighter, fighter I follow on TikTok. And someone asked him what it's like to win an MMA fight. And the way he said it was like, in the moment, it feels amazing. It feels really, really good. And then there's been so much build up to the fight that you fight and then you win and that's like euphoric. And then for the next couple of days is the emotional come down, even though you won, you know? And the exact words he used, which I swear to God made me feel so connected to this man, was the next thing you know, and this is, a, this is like a legit MMA fighter. The next thing you know, you find yourself sitting in the dark listening to the Undertale soundtrack. And it was like, wow. And that's where I end up after releasing a big video, especially like when I know a lot of people are watching it. Like, I'm not gonna pretend that that's a, a bad thing. It's not, like it's obviously it's good for your career. It's good for all that kind of stuff. But there is like an implicit weight to knowing that many people are, you know, kind of judging something you put your heart and soul into and I always find that really difficult and I always find the week after a big upload as like a very uncomfortable thing and I try and stay away from the internet as much as possible like that big Twitter thing I only caught that last night and I was like oh my fucking god um someone if you have people haven't seen in the chat it's like someone basically posted a tweet making fun of the way I talk and it got 50,000 likes. <laughs> Just... Oh, that's not psychic damage. That's existential damage. There's a big difference, let me tell you. 
I think it's pretty funny that you and LS Mark released a video on the newer Simpsons episodes within a close time period. I felt so fucking bad about that because like LS Mark, he released basically a video on the same thing a couple of days before my video. I think it was a couple of days. I'm, I'm not sure the exact thing, but he was really cool about it. I just messaged him and I was like, listen, bud, I'm so sorry about this, but I have also a Simpsons video coming out in the next couple of days. And he was totally cool with it. And I, I thought that was really sound of him. The videos can boost each other in their wakes. You see, that's what I think's happened. Like when I first got into YouTube, I kind of, there was like a very competitive mentality among people. And, you know, people will be getting like pissed off what you do in the same video as them and stuff. What I have actually realized is that if people are doing videos similar to yours, they actually more often than not, it helps everyone involved. You know, like um, I had a bunch of people from the fear and hunger community come out and say like, oh, since your fear and hunger video, that's actually like up to the views on our video. So like, it's cool. It really doesn't need to be competitive. Genuinely, I really feel like content creators have a lot more to gain by like working together than like just being assholes to each other you know what i mean which is why i really you know i do my best not to shit talk anyone and like i don't really have a problem with anyone either i don't like it if people are like hateful or weird but if someone like makes a video or, or you know a take i don't agree it doesn't it doesn't bother me i actually really like videos about i, I really like videos where it's like okay i can see why this person likes this thing now you know, John, I have no enemies Welsh. Okay, listen, I got to the I have no enemies bit in Vinland Saga and legit, it, it kind of, it hit me the way everyone talks about, you know, I was like, fuck, I have no enemies. It's, yeah, it, it's fucking real. Like, there's just, there's no point. There's no point being being a sad little shit, you know what I mean? Hang on. Um, <laughs> I was just about to watch your guest appearance on the Something Rotten podcast. We pivoted here. Oh man, that was so much fun. I if people haven't seen, I was on the Something Rotten podcast with Jacob Geller, um, and his host, whose name his his co-host, whose name I am currently Griffin. Griff, some I'm, I fuck. I'm so sorry. I'm terrible with names unless I've heard it like a million times. They were both so fucking cool. They were both so so cool. I remember like in the first like 10 minutes of the podcast, I made this joke where we were talking about Silent Hill 2. And um, I was like, uh, yeah, I um, Silent Hill 2, uh, fun fact, is the second game in the Silent Hill series. And immediately Jacob's co-host cuts in with, well, actually the visual novel. And I was like, fucking God damn it. I knew someone was going to mention the visual novel. And um, it was just, that's when I knew I was on the right podcast. It was so, so much fun. Speaking of the Simpsons video, I ended up checking those episodes from your um, review. Man, they are really interesting takes on them. Right, dude? Right? For a serious Flanders? So fucking good. Oh, it's so good. I've actually I've actually watched the first two episodes of season 35. And um, the first one was shit. The first one was genuinely like everything I dislike about modern Simpsons. And then the second one was this like weird existential dream episode about Marge letting go of Bart. And it was fucking cool. Like, I wouldn't say it's up there with the best of the new episodes, but it was like interesting and strange. And I really, really liked it. Loving the new hair color. You look more. So the hair. Yeah, actually, I, I got my hair hair did today. I'm really, really feeling it. I'm really feeling it. It looks I think it looks cool. Still feeling delirious. I'm getting there just to watch. I'm, I'm like, today is the first day I think I felt a little more human again, you know? And I started work on the new video. Um, okay, fuck it. Look, I've been I've been kind of going back and forth about whether I'd kind of show this. We got our first piece of Run 3 Eyepatch Wolves merch today. And I just want to show it on stream real fucking quick. Because it is so cool. It probably won't translate super well to me showing you on camera. But I just got it because I'm, I'm really excited. And I just got to show someone. So you can't you can't buy this yet. This is not going to be available for another couple of weeks. But we got the Run 3 poster. It's Eyepatch Wolves Arc 3 Attack on Angel City. And we, we got everyone there. 
we got Zero, we got David Tomorrow, we got Kim Angel, we got Wolf, we got Crow. Uh, this is the fucking dopest thing in the world. I am so happy with how this turned out. And like, fucking seeing it in person is just, I am genuinely blown away. It was done by the artist Chatton Laser. So good, I'm just, oh man, I'm so fucking delighted with how that. Um, I'm just so delighted with how that turned out and it's been like it, the, the run has been like a lot of it's been a lot of work But it's coming together and that's like really It's been so rewarding. You know what I mean? I mean to get going on some funger and we're gonna be going for I'd say about an hour and a half more today if people are curious I just wanted to throw in a quick stream because I missed last week's stream um Hey Wolf, as a fellow Irishman, how about them leprechauns? Don't tell the fucking Americans how much we like leprechauns, dude. Do you st have a stream schedule somewhere? By the way, no, I don't. Hey, Frappolo, the, the great, the great to great to have you here, buddy. Um, Frappolo does amazing fucking videos on fear and hunger. Um, he he's the he's one of the reasons I got into fear and hunger the way I did. Just has these in depth breakdowns of like the mechanics of how the enemies work um he, he's and i'd say probably the frappolo like would you, would you say it's an exaggeration to say that you are the most knowledgeable person on fear and hunger in the world except maybe the person who made it because I, I i that's what i would think let's let's get going um frappolo you, you're like so knowledgeable of this game that whenever kind of you come up I am just reminded of, like, the shit I just didn't know. I didn't know that you could use a bow and arrow as, like, a long-distance weapon in Fear and Hunger 1. I have over 100 hours in that game, and I never knew that. Um, Frappolo asking, do I want to do the S endings of Fear and Hunger together? Oh, that could be interesting. The only thing, so, okay, here's what I'd say. I think I would do one That's with you on stream if you were up for it, and then I'm on my own, and then I have to do the rest myself, because that sounds like a- Would you be up for that, Frappolo? I, I'd, I'd be so down for that. Okay. So I believe we were headed to the church. Okay, let, let's let's just enjoy what is going to be the most peaceful moment of this stream, for sure. Let's just chill. Let's all get in a good space. We're playing fear and hunger. We're relaxing. We don't gotta worry about any anything on the outside, baby. It's just 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 me and you here. We're just. Just, just two people who have met each other in this cosmic dance. Two atoms that have collided together in the great body of the universe. And everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna work out. That thing stressing you out all day? Nah, buddy. It ain't, it, it ain't, it's, it's not worth it. You're, you, you're great just the way you are. Just hanging out. Hey, uh, Quilgy. Hey, John, just wanted to remind you not to die. Th thank you! Thank you, Quilly Yaga. That uh, you're not. No, no one is breaking the chill vibe of this stream. Okay, I refuse to let that happen. Oh, fucking love that music, and I know I say it every time I hear that music. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we were on our way to the church. Um, I think we want to go meet Osa there. Um, and I think the best way to do that is go through the back alleys. I think we had some trouble last time. We could go through the sewer, but honestly, I hate the fucking sewer so much. No, thank you. Yeah, this is going to be such an incredibly chill stream. You guys don't even know. Like, you, you might... It, I'm going to say it. It might be too chill. There's gonna be nothing bad. It's all gonna work out just fine.
Did we not kill needles? What? Wait, I'm sure we killed needles. Because if Needles is still alive, that... Because we killed Needles and he killed Dan. So does that mean Dan is still alive? Did we not save last time? Maybe we didn't. Did you remember to equip the Leech Ring? Thank you for the reminder. Ring of Wraiths, Leechmonger Ring. Ring of Wraiths and Leechmonger Ring is such a good combination. Right, boys. I think we've done all that stuff. Okay, I'm happy to get down again. Yeah, because he, he died last time, and we don't want him to die. Um, real question. Compared to the absolute desperation of Fear and Hunger 1, based on your video, is this game kinder? So far, I do think that Fear and Hunger 2 is a bit of a gentler game than Fear and Hunger 1. Like, legitimately. Um, uh, uh, quest. What do we want to equip? Needle stone, vermin gas mask. Hmm. I think maybe a gas mask for the moment. Um, I I think generally, fear and hunger two gives you a lot more of a chance to get like. Your, your feet under you. Um, maybe the meat mallet. Although, yeah, the meat mallet. Um, are you playing on hard mode? There is currently not a hard mode for Fear and Hunger 2. There's a masochism mode, and I am not playing on masochism mode. Um, so, okay, it's hard to talk about difficulty in Fear and Hunger because... Hard mode in Fear and Hunger 1 is a really specific thing. It's not terror and starvation. It's, which is kind of the normal hard mode. It's like, it, hard mode is extreme mode. And it cuts off, cuts out mechanics like being able to recruit party members and all this kind of stuff. So, um, we are just playing Fear and Hunger 2 on normal. And it has been kissing, kissing, it has been, it has been kicking my ass. It is, I... I feel like I have been doing really poorly on these streams. Oh shit, shit, shit. But I I, I want to turn that around. Come on, come on, come on. Uh District, business district. I want to actually go this way. Whoa! <laughs> no. And I think we're just going around in circles, but we're gonna go this way. Oh fuck! 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 Okay, and we're back the way we came. God damn it! Hmm. The sewers might be a good option. Um. By the way, John, have you seen any of Worm Girl's videos? I have not because I really want to watch one on stream. Um. I got in contact with Worm Girl and she said that she'd be totally cool with me watching uh her lore videos on stream. So I'm excited to do that, but I have not done it yet. Ugh. Oh God, no! Oh God, no! <sighs> the expression of his face becomes more serious all of a sudden. That only happens when Dan is in the party. And I'm wondering what that's about. If we if we cut off his arms, he pulls out a gun. So I think maybe we just hit his body. We just keep hitting his body. I think we can DPS this problem away. 
Oh god, he does a lot to Dan. Oh, nice critical hit. Oh. Nice, man. Like, he he is actually not that tough. Okay, now let's sort out all this mess. Um, I don't think we can get to his corpse without pissing off the mob. So... I think we might have to live with that one. Um, and we gotta find Dana Cloth. Remember to loot needles, I think. Yeah, no, we... That's not a regular enemy. I'm pretty sure that's a mob enemy. The mob is so scary. Like, if that's a normal enemy, we can take them. But I think it's the mob. That is the mob. Yep, yep, yep. Do they despawn? I don't know that they do. Um, I'm gonna try... I think there might be another way we can go down and past them but we probably would be okay heading down the sewers now because we have two party members which is going to be enough to let us kill some of those people hmm. there's also a longer way we could go around so i think we're gonna try that ah no the umbrellas these things aren't quite as dangerous when we have two people but they're still very nasty oh fuck i forgot about him well that's really bad Hmm. Hmm. Can we maybe... No! Fuck. Come on. Get out of there. Get out of there. Please, 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 please. Oh, uh, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Whoa. Now, there's actually some bins up there we haven't gotten yet. But is he going to be up there? Yep, goodbye. I strongly... Oh, shit. Okay, so Os is here, so he's not going to be in the church. You notice the mellow... Oh, I'm... What do you mean? People approached... Shit, see, I think we were meant to go to the church and give Osa the confessional so he knows we're not bad. Um, uh, uh, don't know how well intentions are, so as a precaution, just keep your distance. Perhaps I'll see you tomorrow. I don't intend to take unnecessary risks, it's nothing personal. Fair enough. Okay, I think we can get around. Please, not the mob. Please, not the mob. Please, not the mob. Here's some ruckus from ahead. What does that mean? Uh... Oh shit! Man in front of 
Mind Suit. You're a real mess, boy. You know that, right? I'm just doing the world a favor by getting rid of you. Heck, I'm even doing you a favor here. It's like giving a mercy shot to a wounded mutt. Any final words? No! Just leave me be. Leave him, leave him alone! I don't want to fight you. Ooh, you don't want to fight? The situation seems to be escalating. Chat, I think we got to interrupt. Or stick your nose or it might end up regretting it. Oh, he looks mean. Get ready to die, you fucking piece of shit. That's like the second time today someone said that to me. Um, okay, let's go all in and take out that pipe. I don't think this guy's going to be that tough. He's just a normal dude. Nah, he's just a normal fella. We got him. Hell yep. Yeah. What you got, buddy? What you got? Mm. You absorbed the decrepit soul. Oh, awesome. Are you okay? Oh, god damn it. I thought that guy was going to join us. Medical diagnosis. Seems dead to me. Don't know what else to say. You got the rusty pipe, meat pie, cashmere suit, and egg. Um... I've been using party chat a bit. It's generally it's just like, what do you think? And the person's like, oh, I think this. No one's cleaned up any of this. Does that mean the city has been under the plague since the war ended? Uh... Tea is party talk. Oh, handy. I prefer the open streets. At least we can see what's ahead. This is an area I have not... I've only been to a couple of times. I'm gonna bet that that door on the left is locked. So we're just gonna head straight south, I think. And hopefully they get caught on the geometry. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's our best bet. I think that's our best bet. Damn it. Oh, hell yeah. Oh! Oh! Bleh! Oh, Christ. Okay. I think we can safely rule that way out. But is there another way we can go? So this is where that guy spawns. He spawns down that alley. Have we just gone in a giant fucking loop? Someone in the chat. Not the bees! Not the bees! One. I, I do believe we've been in here. This exit bottom right. Okay, thank you. Um, I don't mind like an... Uh, just to let people know, I don't mind like an... Mm, is there something in here? The garage is empty. Bottom right, bottom right. There he is, there he is! That's right, boys. Mondo Can we maybe kite him around a little bit? Well, he appears to be gaining. Uh, this chairway... Okay, now we're gonna run over. Bottom right, bottom right. Go, 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 go. Oh, I know where this is. Yeah, the church is just ahead now. Oh!
Can we take a Bobby? I think we actually have an okay chance of taking a Bobby if it comes to that. But I should probably feed these people. Um, I think we might be about to take on a Bobby properly for the first time. Yep. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. Oh shit, Dan, what happened you buddy? Oh, fuck. Okay, no, I, I have no choice. I gotta heal Dan. He's going to attack twice with his clubs. It's nasty. That's kind of what I wanted. But now we can take out his other two arms. Boom. Nice. Okay. Now we just have to keep one character taking out the regenerating arms. And the other two can focus on the body. Okay, good, good, good. This is what we want. So now just... Now we're just going to take out his arms, and then next turn we're going to rev up and, and, and whoop that body. Um, okay, I'm going to take turns revving up here. So Olivia, you take out that, and then Dan, you spend your rev on the body. Okay, now we're going to use both turns to take out the arms, keep them pinned down. Okay, now Olivia is going to rev up, and she's going to go for the body, and Dad is going to take out the arm. Oh, yes! Oh, fucking flawless! You guys see that? We got health back on that. Um, we no longer fear the police. The police have no power over us! find a small key. Ah, bollocks. Oh, <laughs> uh, I, okay, I gotta beat him again. Uh, I gotta, we, we know we can do it. We know he only poses a very minimum threat now. See, we have the le we have Dan who has the Wraith Ring, which is regening his health every turn, and we have Olivia with the Leechmonger Ring, which means we are getting health back with every attack. So, like, we're doing good. Like, this is these fights are no big deal to us. Don't forget to beat up the body. Will he? I think he does. Does he stay down if we beat the body? Nice, man. Dan's hitting hard. Man, these things were so scary the first time I encountered them. But if you have two party members, they're actually not even that big a deal. Like, they're a way to get health back. Now it stopped. Husk of the Bobby feels stiff and hollow. Nice. Okay. Three nine million bullets. Beer. He's been stabbed multiple times. Nine shillings. What's left here? He's been shot in the head. Um. Bone saw. Oh, nice. We got a bone saw. Can we get that officer's head? He ain't getting back up now. Okay, chat. I'm feeling good. I'm I'm feeling like I'm feeling like we're on a bit of a roll here. We have loads of ammo for our gun. 
Oh, you, you fucking want some, Bobby? You what, mate? You fucking what? That's, uh, that's how you have to talk when you speak to Bobby's. Super Eye Patch Wolf has been arrested for the crime of murdering a police officer. I mean, you know, it, 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 it might happen. Um... Also, guys, I put a compressor on the audio so that it shouldn't sound crazy when I scream. Is that... is that happening? Do, does it sound better when I scream? Do I need to scream to test that? Um, yell into the mic. Uh, try screaming. What, what, what will I scream, chat? I'll, I'll scream my favorite... my favorite pick from whatever you guys say. Um... Okay, I'm just gonna scream. I'm just gonna scream. If this compressor isn't working, I'm so sorry, everybody, but I'm just gonna scream. Ah! How was that? Was that tolerable? Compressed, not bad. Nice! Okay. See, guys? I... If people say that... Oh, shit. Okay, I fucked this up because I was distracted with screaming. Um, if people say the same thing to me like 80 times in a row, I eventually learn. Uh, see? Now, off with your head. That was a Homer Simpson scream. I guess it kind of was, yeah. Man, Simpsons. That was a really fun video to make. It was really hard towards the end. Like, I, I genuinely did struggle a lot towards the end. But, uh, whoa. You find yourself in the middle of an encounter. Marco, this is bad. Take it easy. It's all just a big misunderstanding. We continue our separate ways and everyone... Stay alive for tomorrow. It's easy to, f easy to feel remorse when you're looking down the barrel of a gun. This is the Brahmin Lieutenant. We haven't encountered him on this playthrough. We have encountered him on other ones. I think... Don't shoot! The Brahmin Lieutenant gives you a smile. A misunderstanding, you say. Well, live and learn as they... <gasps> Marco, I really wanted to recruit him. You don't even try to stop me. You don't even try to so you know what that makes you. An accomplice. What happened here? I'm not good at coming up with excuses, so I'm not even going to try to do that. They had it coming, though, if that helps you sleep at night. Do you think... This is what the festival is all about. I think I think I need to give this guy's voice more more something. Pitting us against each other. You've seen the dream come to you've seen the dream continue since the first day, right? That's pretty much what he said. I don't have interest in participating in the festival just yet. So like the guy said, we continue our separate ways and everyone stays alive for tomorrow. Oh, and I guess introductions are in order. I'm Lieutenant Pav. Remember the name. Fuck, guys. Uh. Oh, that sucks. 20 shillings, lucky coy, gentleman's hat, and broken eyeglasses. Marco is down. Get three shillings to take combat jacket. Seems dead to me. Don't know what else to say. Guys, they're already dead. Uh, come on. They're they're already dead. They're like Marco does not need his brain right now. He's gone. Okay, it's not it's not being disrespectful. That uh, chat is being ridiculous.
by the cost of having to find 10 shillings. Those white files in the fridge, it's so weird. Um. We dr we drinking good tonight. Let's try force the door. Too strong for you, devastating. Um, do we have still nothing that we can fix the bleeding with? Uh, might be some supplies in here. Let's use it. Let's let's use a small key. Find a bolt, blue herb, saw blade. I still don't know what any of the like saw blades or bolts or any of that stuff do. Uh, craft item. Wait, what is that? Condensed lavender. Sanity, okay. Soul stone. I need to donate all my heads. Hi. Cloth fragment, excellent. Okay, now let's just craft a little. I don't think we can actually craft any more healing stuff right now. Okay, so he has a thing right now where he gets more health back from a healing item. So I think we can heal him up with this blue herb. And hopefully we encounter a bobby or something and he just get he just regens the rest of his health back. Um Also, John, just wanted to say thank you for being you. Depression has been kicking my ass as of late, and your videos and streams have legit got me through it. Keep being you. Ah, uh, Ishman, thank you so much. I'm, I'm sorry to hear shit's rough, buddy. Um, depression fucking sucks. Um, I've had a very close friend go through some pretty severe depression this year, and I am no stranger to it myself. But the thing about depression, dude, is that the most insidious thing That's depression right, does Mondo is convince cool. you that it's not going to end. You know, you just think that you're going to feel that way forever. You are not. Your perspective will eventually shift. You're kind of, you know, sometimes even just the fucking chemicals, your brain bounce out and you feel okay. I really recommend um, getting some therapy if you're not already. I have been through a ton of therapy. It's kind of a requirement with this job. Um, and that helps me a lot. And, you know, just, you know, get some advice and maybe like... And uh, medication isn't for everyone, but it can really help people. So there, you have options, dude. Uh, but yeah, best to look in your journey at getting better. And uh, we are the final gamer is with you for whatever that is worth. 